invited um, to do a private pick um, at a semi estate sale today. So we're just kind of going through things. Pretty interesting stuff here. That's some old Commodore stuff that I'm pretty excited about looking up. Gonna be going through a bunch of boxes right here. Hopefully find some gems today. Like an old typewriter. Not sure what that is. Ooh, I'm gonna look in there. Here comes the big reveal. See what's in this bad boy. If I can get it open here. Check out these old school fishing lures and reels. All right, everybody, we're back at the house now with all of our goods that we got from our private pick the other day. It's uh, been a few days of trying to get everything somewhat uh, organized and uh, been able to do this video for you guys so anyways I, I'm gonna turn this around and show you kind of the things that we got um, some of the things I don't know actually probably most of the things I don't know the value of but kind of have an idea um, but I just want to let you guys know that everything that we got here today um, actually was free um, what? they were doing a house clean out and um, since we knew the family um, we were able to get stuff um, whatever stuff we wanted to take was ours and um, so yeah so anyways that's pretty awesome so anything that we get from this stuff is great um, so all right let's get into it so first off we got here um, all this Commodore stuff um, we got this monitor and then we also got it looks like uh, the keyboard um, and also some kind of disk drive underneath there. Um, so as far as the monitor here, um, I don't really know the state of it right now because um, it's in the box. Definitely has some yellowing, um, but that's definitely due to age, um, of course. Looks like we have uh, power cords and stuff down there. Some of the stuff that was in the box is this looks like some floppy disks um, what else we got here um, an introduction to basics whatever that is um, and then also let's see huh Gore-Tec and the microchips interesting so anyways we'll have to do some research on that but I know these monitors, if they work, or even if they don't work, they still have some value. We also got this vintage lamp. I know some of them can go for a good amount. I'm not too sure about that one yet. Um, I did look up a few things, um, which include this Zenith uh, camcorder here. I wasn't really that valuable, um, but maybe if I do a bundle thing we'll be able to get something for it um, and then also in this bag I actually haven't even gone into this to see what there is so you guys will be the first to find out so so the first thing that I pulled out here looks like um, another kind of zenith power supply uh, I'm not sure what that's for timber Goodness. Well, it looks like some sort of battery pack, if that's what's in here. Yep, that's what it looks like, a battery pack. Um, and then, I don't really want to pull this one out, but it looks like it's a... video player, recarder, oh, maybe it's a beta, Betamax, beta machine, also by Zenith, not sure about that, and then lastly here, we go, 
got. Oh, looks like a bunch of camera lenses. So these could be possibly good. You know, lenses tend to be more valuable than the actual camera. Uh, I was a photographer for over 10 years, so definitely know some things. This one looks like a really good quality lens here to do some research on that. And then the other ones look like probably just a bunch of filters and caps, lens caps. Uh, next off we got this compact, very old school uh, laptop. I'm not going to be able to open it unless I set you guys down here. Um, looks like it's for Microsoft Windows. Pretty dirty. Oh, but wait. It's fully loaded, apparently. So, I'll have to check that one out. Here we got, looks like, I think this is a Polaroid. Yeah. So, Polaroid camera. I actually don't know anything about this Polaroid. I know some Polaroids can definitely be valuable, others not really. Give that a look up. Like we got some oh beta tape so that's probably a, definitely a beta machine that we were looking at uh, then we also got his pipe collection here so fortunately i don't know too much about pipes but um i guess i'll be learning real soon here some of them look kind of intricate have designs i'm not sure if they all do um but yeah um, and then I also saw this. It is brand new in the box. I'm not sure the value of it, but my stepdad is a golfer, so I'll definitely be giving him that. And then I also grabbed some of these cameras. Um, this actually I thought was interesting, if I can get it out here. So this looks like it's a very old, uh, first aid packet for the army So I'm not sure if it's really from 1918 or What but that's pretty cool So I was gonna show you guys the cameras here that I got actually I haven't even looked at them myself I'm pretty excited because like I said I was a photographer so I'm still a photographer, but Don't actively do it for um, business uh, looks like this is a Edenix. Um, that's really cool. And these definitely have some age to them, as you can see. Um, the next one here, they all got these really nice leather cases that go with them. So that will definitely add some value. Um, this one looks like it's a Kodak Pony 135. I don't know if this is a this may be a video camera actually keystone it's pretty heavy too definitely got some weight to that bad boy and then i think this is the last camera i got here but it's uh looks like a tower definitely never heard of that um, very old and vintage very heavy wow can't even imagine being a photographer holding this thing for hours at a time doing a shoot but then again when you put big lenses and stuff on your camera they actually can be pretty heavy I also got this it's pretty heavy metal Air Force airplane um, and then somewhere else around here um, I did find the stand, I believe it's the stand for it. So if that's the case, this should actually go for a good amount of money. I think I've seen them go for good amounts, but it's been a while since I looked those up. Um, see if we can find the stand. Oh yeah, here it is. I'm not sure if this is the one it went to, but it looks like it did. So... We'll have to try it out. Um, over here, we actually ended up, she just at the last minute threw in these boxes. 
I don't think these old vintage cigar boxes are worth anything, but I could be surprised. Uh, but she said she had a bunch of pens in here, and I know sometimes pens can be valuable. Um, you know, uh, vintage pens or pens that have like gold or silver, that type of stuff. And it looks like some of his metals still in here. Um, oh, that's cool. Hopefully that's not a bomb. <laughs> Um, and then, let's see, I think this was another one that had some, oh, that's cool, pa some patch here, recording tape, it's a bunch of odds and ends here, um, uh, more patches, some sort of lighter here. pens. Like I said, I'm going to have to go through these. No, they're probably not worth anything, but you never know. I find a little gem in there. It only takes one to make you rich, right? <laughs> oh, wow. Looks like we got some of his pens from the military. Um, oh, wait. There it is. Look at that, guys. I lied on the camera. Wow. And I thought that other one was huge. This thing's a dinosaur. Wow. I don't know if this is a video camera or a camera camera. Wow. Definitely got to do some research on that one. Looks like there might be some kind of instructions in there. So that's pretty cool. Oh. It says Polaroid camera, so that's a good indication it's a Polaroid camera. Controls and maybe mouses or something for the Commodore. Looks like we got a Commodore cassette player and some sort of joystick for that. And last minute I kind of threw in these tools that looked vintage and old and I really don't know much about tools but I want to know more because I know there's some definite value to them. Oh, this is a Snap-on. I think a Snap-on is a good brand. Willard, definitely older. Um, and this one doesn't look like it's got any really name brand on it, unless I just can't see it. I actually was able to grab a couple mugs. Um, this one just was super cute and definitely vintage plastic, um, made in the USA. Uh, I'm not sure of the year, but, uh, you know, when it says made in the USA, it's most likely vintage. Actually, oh, 1986. Yeah, that's definitely old. Then I got this McDonald's. It is glass. Batman Forever uh, mug, the 1995 it looks like, so that one's vintage as well. Uh, I just thought it was su super cool with it being like three-dimensional and stuff. Measuring tape, just thought it looked super cool. Um, I might actually end up keeping this one because I have like the cloth ones right now and they're just kind of a pain because they don't stay straight and everything so this might be staying with me. Baby blankets can go for a good amount of money. Um, there's a brand called Morgan. They're acrylic blankets um, and I sold a Morgan blanket. Um, it's definitely vintage but I sold it for $250. So anyways don't sleep on blankets. <laughs> no pun intended. But that's our haul for today. Um, I think it was a pretty good uh, haul for being free. And um, now we get to go through it and clean it. Which doesn't sound like very much fun. 
but hopefully we'll be able to get some good stuff out of here and make some good money out of it. So until next time, until we thrift again, see you on the flip side. Come